Nice. All right. Hey, man, I haven't streamed anything for a while now, apart from that Riven Games. Um, yeah, murdered by numbers. Um, visual novel and pick cross put together. Yo, Brett, how you doing, man? But yeah, um, I was meaning to do stream this for a while, but you know, um, you know, I've been trying to get things in order and whatever, but whatever. I'm just gonna stream this. I feel like playing it. I've been playing a lot of Picross games lately. Let's see. SK Select. Is it supposed to be Scout's Memories? That's the extra strike. Okay. So what, you just start like this? Okay. Let's see. This will overwrite your auto saves. Are you sure you want to continue? Yes. Because I didn't even do anything. Yeah, I've been checking out the game and like how long to beat and everything. Like it says 20 hours, so should be around that long. Maybe quicker because I've been playing uh, Picross games for quite a while. Let me see, I am Scout. I am. Um, I can't see anything. I know. I'll run the visual recalibration uh, recal routines. Yeah, teach the basics. This should be quick. Let me see. The basic image uh, reconstruction are simple. See that grid? By filling in certain squares, a picture will appear. The clues on the sides of the grid tell you which squares to fill in. Once you filled in the right squares, you'll complete the image. See how this row has five written here? That means that, that five connected squares in this row should be filled in. Since there are five squares in the row in total, that means all of them should be filled. Let's fill these in, um, these in now. Blah, 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 blah. Yep, great. See how the clue, um, see the clue uh, went grey. That that means you followed the clue properly. Now we're going to introduce other important part of image uh, reconstruction puzzles: marking squares that may be empty. Uh, take a look at this column. The one clue means that only one square in this column should be filled in. Because one square is already filled in, that means none of the others can be. So we should mark these squares with a cross to remind us that they shouldn't be filled in. Mark these four squares with X's now. That can finish the game with one short stream. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> yeah, possibly, possibly. But I don't think Zach has played any um, of these games, so it would be really good if he did drop on this one, actually. You see, great. Do the same for the second column. And the fifth column. You see, okay, we're nearly there. This row has a clue of two, which uh, means two connected squares are filled in. Because we put in those X earlier, um, now only one pe uh, one place where this other square can go. Fill it in now. Like, oh, I have to do this one first. Yeah. You see, now do the same on this row. As you can see, marker squares with X is really important and makes reconstructing the image much easier. Image reconstruction can be boiled down into these two tasks. Put in, in squares that are correct, place an X in squares that cannot be filled in. Now use the techniques you've learned here to complete the puzzle, this puzzle. Yep. Five. Five. Oh, I have to do X as well. Arrow, yeah, yeah, right arrow. Found right arrow. Oh, there was an arrow pointing right. Okay, on to the next one. Oh, snap. Didn't realize how dark it, it was getting. Just a moment.
that's okay. Yeah. Didn't realize how dark it got now. Let's see, uh, next. Let's see. Error, error, corrupt data. The game knows you didn't buy it legally. Yeah, I got this game legit. <laughs> next, let's look at look at a really useful technique called overlapping. This this row has a, a clue of four. Remember, this means that four collected squares should be filled in. Yep. Given that there are four connected squares and only five possible spaces, that means that there are only two possible places. No, that means that there, there are only two possible places this group could go. Okay. Look at the three squares in the middle of the row. Notice how no matter where we place this group, these three squares are always filled. That means we can we can safely fill them in now. Go ahead. Good job. This is overlapping. Working out uh, which squares will always be filled in or always empty regardless of where the group goes. Let's try to, uh, a few more examples. Take a look at this row. This one only has three collected squares, which means there are three possible positions it can be in. Even in this situation, there's an overlapping square, the one in the middle of the row. Put it in now. Yeah. Cool. Notice how the row um, has two number groups. Yep. Which this means um, this row has two groups. One in of three connected squares and one that is just um, that is just a single square. Groups must be separated by at least one blank space. So for example, in this instance it must be it must go three squares, at least one blank square and then one final square. Given that there's only five squares in a row, there's only one possible layout that we will put it put here. Put in the highlighted squares and then put X in the square we know must be empty. We can do this, um, we can do some more overlapping on this column. Given we already have one of the squares filled in, there are now only two possible places this group could go uh, and one more overlapping square fill in that square now did you notice that in the previous case the last square will never be filled in yep. uh, crossing out squares that you know must be empty is as crucial as filling them in so let's uh, cross that out now On the structure of crossing out, uh, of crossing things out, notice that how the last column has been completely, well, has completed already. By following other clues, cross out all the other squares in this column so you know know the key then blank. Yeah. Excellent work. Now all the techniques you've learned so far to finish this puzzle. Yeah. Now use, now use all the techniques you've learned so far to finish this puzzle. On. Was it a cat? Oh, it's a dog. There's a two point eight. <laughs> a dog, how cute. Let's try the others. Honestly, I wonder how big these um, puzzles will get like in late game. That's not good. Okay, let's try to bring the visual sensors online. Yeah, I found. Yeah, we found Zach! <laughs> just a moment. I think I got heavy from something. Like, I've just been sneezing. <sighs> hey. Zach might actually be in bed right now. Let's see, where am I? Let me see. Access to memory. 85% memory corruption. How? What happened? I should try and find out a way uh, find a way out. Oh, it's a garbage bag. Wait, does that mean that this is a garbage dump? Did someone throw me away? Choose your difficulty. Completing was it completed rows are automatically crossed out, hints are on by default. 
No automatic completion of roles, hints have to be toggled on. Okay, if this is your first time playing this type of puzzle, uh, should say puzzle game, but whatever, uh, we recommend starting on easy, otherwise challenge yourself to normal. You can change your difficulty at any time and cases can always be replayed for a better rank. Go on normal. Put on maximum difficulty, man. Several hours early, um, later. Let me see. I've already played um, games like that. Let me see. If I remember correctly, it was 25. Whoa, 25 by 25 or 30 by 30. Damn. What games? Which ones were you playing? The ones I played, yeah. I think the max is probably 20 by 20 I've played. I think on PC, I saw some big ones. Those take quite, um, quite a while to finish, actually. Yeah, I think 20 by 20 or 30 by 30 would be very hard. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Zach still will be streaming. Let's see. Miss Telly. Let's see. And that's how I discovered the missing murder weapon. It was inside the butler all along. It, it was inside the butler? <laughs> what? What do you mean in? What do you mean inside the butler? Do you mean in the inside the stomach? <laughs> My God, I can't believe I didn't think of that. I couldn't. Let's see, let's tell you. Let's see, I couldn't have uh, done it without your help, uh, Detective Oates. After all, someone had had to distract um, that swarm of bees. Wow. Haha, <laughs> you're right. We make a great team. It's just lucky we, we were in the neighborhood. You'll always be where we're needed, adults, because wherever there's number murder, there's Miss Telly. Cut. That's Blake, yeah. Let me see. Um, that's the last of the reshoots, everyone. Great work. I uh, enjoy your summer break, okay? Oh, thank God for that. I hate reshoots. Oh, so our real name's Becky. Okay. Like, I already nailed it the first time. It's, it's not my fault. I'm surrounded by a bunch of talentless idiots. Excuse me? Alright, and their name's Honor, yeah? Oh, I'm sorry, Honor. You're not an idiot. Anna, can I see you in my office real quick? Uh, sure, I'll be right there. Another meeting with the showrunner. I wish he paid that much attention to the real talent around here. Better run, uh, run along now. Keep it together, Anna. Four months until next season. Four months before you have to talk to her again. Thanks, Becky. Hope you have a great summer. Hope you have a great summer. Ugh, what a sucker. Really. <laughs> oh, but if we get a dog character, yeah, that's definitely gonna be Sack. Yeah, then you can you can read it in uh, Sack's voice. Let's see. Please, come in. How's it going? Your wife doing okay? My wife? I, uh... Yeah. Yeah, she's fine. Listen, I... This is hard. Mm. Okay, what's going on? Did we get cancelled? Did some of my lines get cut again? <laughs> well, that's pessimistic. Did we get cancelled? What's going on? Yeah. What's going on, Blake? You know you can tell me anything. It's a, uh, it's about your contract. My contract? I don't understand. I wish there was something I could do, but wait, are you firing me? This isn't what I. Oh, wait, what? It just skipped so quick. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you're the showrunner, Blake. Um, don't act like you, um, you've got no choice. No warning, no negotiation. You're supposed to be my friend. Please, Honor. Wait, wait. Wow. 
<laughs> I think it's just got some auto skips, uh, auto progression on some chat, on some text. Is he try? Unless I'm pressing something by mistake. I can't. No, I'm not pressing anything. <laughs> what about the show? You just you can't just uh, get rid of detective votes. The fans will go crazy. You're telling me. Three weeks of hate mail just for changing the theme song. <laughs> but sometimes things come up. Unexpected things. I have to do whatever it takes. The network um, put forward the idea of a token poodle a few months back. <sighs> Barrett, looks like they're replacing um, replacing it with a talking dog. You see, I might try it out. Animal co companions are big right now. Right, replaced by a dog. That's dignified. I know. <laughs> wow. Forget it, Blake. I don't need your sympathy. What I need is is for you to have my back, like you always like you always used to. But I guess that's not going to happen. This isn't what I wanted, Honor. I swear. I wish I could believe you. <laughs> what? Well, every time you go to work, you just have sack in your on your mind, yeah. I can't believe this. Four years of hard work, and then I'm out, just like that. What am I supposed to do now? Is it Miss Me? Miss Zarahi? Is it Miss Zarahi? Miss Zarahi? Is it Miss Rahi? Yeah. Miss Rahi, uh, good to see you. Say, you haven't seen any, ki um, any kids running around out here, have you? Sorry, no. Did you know, like, uh, did you find fun show audience escape <laughs> What? Sorry, no. So no, I was, I was just on my way out. What's up? It's just I got a report about kids and spraying graffiti on the studio lot. Same thing happened last summer. Oh, but look at me going on. You must have finished filming by by now, right? Oh yeah, I'm finished. Like not coming back, finished. What? No way. Yeah, Lake isn't renewing my contract. Oh jeez, that's awful. I thought you two were friends. Me too. And what about money? What with the, your husband being out of the picture, was it this your only income? Gosh, I'd be terrified if it was me. I'm getting stomach aches just thinking about it. I was trying not to think about it, Bill. Oh jeez, I'm sorry. Me and my big mouth. But you'll be fine, Miss uh, <laughs> me, Miss Rahi. I'm just. I just know it. I'm sure you've got a plan. So far, the plan is to go home and find something strong to drink. <laughs> you take care of yourself, okay? Plenty of people here will be sad to see you go, me included. Thanks, Bill. Hey, shouldn't you be going? Uh, shouldn't you be looking for those kids? Kids? What kids? All right. I better go. See you around. <laughs> He's definitely Detective Gumshoe, right? Now, where'd I put my car keys? Thought I, ha I had them in my ha handbag somewhere. Detective Oats? I am not in the mood to sign autographs right now. Oats isn't my name. I'm just an actress and this really isn't a good time. But I need your help. Detective's just ain't an actress. <laughs> I'm not an I'm not a detective. Could you please just? You're not a fan. What are you? I am a scout. Is this some kind of prank? Processing prank. A practical joke. A deception. No, I'm not a prank. I'm a sc I am a scout. I am group. Alright, where's the hidden crack camera? I'm equipped with a digital imi um, imaging device. If that's what you mean, 
it isn't hidden, but it may be hard to see from where you are standing. Do you have any other uh, impressions? Uh, listen, this is uh, real clever, hilarious, really. But I've had a bad day and I'm not in the mood. Unless you can find my car keys, I suggest you get lost. I can help you find your keys. I can find anything. At the face of an object identification mode. Oh, just start straight away. That's cool. Oh, he's gonna give me more tutorials or something. One, two, three. Oh, nice. Before I had to build in all the um, black squares, um, the blank squares as well. Just a moment. Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, I probably will get banned from Twitch. Look at this, I saw this earlier. Yeah, I found a car key, question mark. Wait, Detective ranks the F. Is that the overall? <laughs> what got F for that is just that puzzle. There. It's in your bag. That's not my car key. It's a tampon. Oh, tampon. Made... <laughs> wow, they skipped that quick, man. I didn't, didn't even get to read that. <laughs> I know what it is. I just don't don't get how it, this is supposed to help me open my car. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, yes, yeah, sorry. I'm de um, detecting multiple faults in, in my object recognition system and and I really have to be going. <laughs> you see, wait, I still need your help. I told you I'm not a real detective. Hell, I'm not even a fake one anymore. What could you possibly want me to, to help you with? I don't remember. Great. Well, good luck with that. Now get lost, will you? This isn't funny anymore. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. I swear, LA gets weirder every day. <sighs> now, where are those keys? Maybe I left them back in the studio. It must be around here somewhere. Yeah, I can't read that. You heard the scream yourself, right? <laughs> what was that? It, sound, it sounded like it came from Blake's office. Let's see, you have access to the map. Use the... Okay. Continue. It's a bit weird. Wait, do I have to use them? Oh wow, do I actually use the mouse? I thought I can use my flipping pad. Oh, okay.
Oh, there we go. Was it officer? Uh, Stalker Robot, yeah. Is he Becky? I thought I heard a scream. Let's see. Okay. Well, yeah, that's the pretty much the most common one to say, right? But I was just reading up what the third option was. Are you okay? Uh, he's... He's dead! Hold oh, up. You think he just got hit in the back of the head? Like... I just came in and, and, I think, I think I've got to help. Wow. Hey, don't leave me here on my own. Oh, hi, Ona. Oh, oh my God, is that Blake? What happened? <laughs> I don't know. I heard Becky scream and, oh, jeez. What are you going to do? I'm going to come, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, he's going to, he's going to, I'm not bothering <laughs> <laughs> He's just panicking now. <laughs> I'm not qualified for this. He taught me how to check ID and how to operate the little gate, but not this. We have to call the police. Oh, yeah, good idea. Call the police. Um, they'll know what to do. They're professionals. You just wait here. It'll be, uh, it'll all be fine. Oh, but jeez, just seeing the blood here makes me feel wow. Bill. <laughs> Right, yeah, please. Sorry, I'll go and help get help. Blake, why? Is it episode one? Show's over. Oh, let me move that away. And he was just lying, uh, just lying there. Bloody hell! I'm sorry, Honor. No one should have seen. Uh, no one should have to see that. I just don't get it. Who would hurt? Uh, want to hurt Blake? Is this everyone? All staff present and correct, sir. Well, everyone except Blake, on account of he's been dead and all. Wow. Oh jeez, me and my big mouth again. Sorry everyone for Blake's sake. I reckon Bill will probably be the best character in this. Ahem. I'll take it from here, thanks. I'm senior detective uh, Gary Crot Gary Cr Gary Cr Gary <laughs> What? Gary Cross. <laughs> so he's very cross, yeah? I'll be leading the investigation into the death of your showrunner Blake. I realise this is a difficult time for everyone, but if you work with me, we can see just um, that justice is served. First off, who found the body? Well, Becky did, didn't it? Becky found the body. What do you think happened to him? You, well, see, you don't think one of us did it, do you? Well, Becky found it, right? I think you found a button. Uh, for body. I came running when I heard her scream. He was dead when you found him? How should I know? I'm not a doctor. Becky, he's trying to help. Sorry, detective. She's obviously still in shock. And who are you, Asaki? I feel like I've seen you somewhere before. of right is the culprit calling it now <laughs> oh really how can you tell man how are you just gonna judge the guy like that looks like an innocent man is he honor um honor miss ras ah, miss rahi 
yeah, I, I'm gonna have trouble with pronouncing that um, for a while. Honor Miss Rahi, I'm an actress. Honor Miss Rahi, huh? Well, I'll be. You've probably seen the show Murder Miss Telly. I play Detective Oaks. Of course, he's he's seen it. We're a smash hit. Yeah, that must be it. I'm Becky Cole. By the way, star of the show and soon to be winner of this year's Star Star Starshine Award for Best Actress, hopefully. Glad to meet you. Now, what I need you to do is an autograph, of course. But I'm going to have to ask you for a small fee. I don't want your autograph, Miss Cole. I just want you to think about what you saw. You will all have to submit statements after um, examining the crime scene. Do you need anything else until then, or can we go? I think we could all do with some time to process what's happened. Hold it! No one's going home. There's been a murder. I don't want anyone leaving this room until, until I've got the place secured. Understood? They're being cute, right? Can't lock us in here. There's there's no bathroom. Use a paper. <laughs> Use a paper cup <laughs> if you have to. I want to keep all, all of you in one place until I've got the fat straight. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Listen, senior detective. I'm not going to going in a cup. Where do you think we we are? A frat party? What's your name? Casey Libu. Is it Libu? Yeah, Libu. Award winning air and makeup uh, artist. Artist? Artist? Artist. Yeah. Enchanted to meet, to meet you. Aren't you Brits supposed to be good at keeping things bottled up? Well, now's your chance. <laughs> Any other questions? Who's, who's that hiding in the corner? I wasn't hiding. I got nothing to hide, Mr. Cross. Uh, I mean, Officer Cross. It's not Officer, it's Senior Detective. <laughs> Who are you? What are you doing here? <laughs> right, right. Senior Detective, got it. The name's Tully. I was get, just getting a drink when all of the hell broke loose. Senior Inspector, sir. <laughs> uh, Missy, please with suspect honor just because. <laughs> She's black. Oh my god, and it's LA. <laughs> Ferret, please, bro. <run. laughs> You're wrong, but come on, man. We see Le, le Bu. The, the Bu in French. Ah, oh, okay. It's, it's pronounced Le Bo. Le Bo. Okay. Le Bo. <laughs> we see, let, let me say it slowly so you get it senior detective and I meant what are you doing here in the studio what's your job here oh why didn't you say so I'm a handyman by day bodybuilder and model by at night I'm gonna be the next Schwarzenegger <laughs> that's great and I definitely want to circle back around to this but we still ha haven't solved my wee my wee problem. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> For God's sake, I'm not your babysitter, uh, Mr. L Libo. Is it is it Libo? <laughs> or is it Lib Libu? Yeah. <laughs> the matter is close. As for everyone else, um, I don't care if you're an actress. The next uh, Schwarzenegger or William Goddamn uh, Snot Snot. Shatner, Shatner, William Shatner. We're all suspects until I say otherwise. You, security guy, Bill, wasn't it? Take me to the crime scene. Everyone else, just sit tight while I do my job. The real crime around here are those eyebrows. Somebody needs to pluck those girls before they get into a cat fight. <laughs> 
as a possible stalker. So, Tully, let's talk about your bodybuilding. Alright, Casey's interesting. <laughs> See several hours later, <laughs> and it's King Cooley. Yes, man, <laughs> definitely King Cooley. <laughs> but there's a problem. The character hasn't got their chest um, showing out, so it can't be King Cooley. Uh, come on, come on already. Let me out. Would you stop making so much noise? He's obviously can't hear you. It's Friday night and I'm supposed to be at a party in um, like three hours. How am I supposed to get ready if I'm stuck in here with all you losers? Uh, you realise Blake's dead, right? And all you can think about is your stupid party? Just because Blake's, Blake's dead doesn't mean my social life has to die too. This girl, damn. about time I thought you were ignoring me I was would have kept it that way too but I found this guy in the hallway over by the set great you got another potential suspects wandering around that I should know about not that I know of you told me you're the detective shouldn't, shouldn't you have the studio in lockdown yeah Yeah, no, that's the first thing I thought. <laughs> yeah, look at his t-shirt. <laughs> wait, does she, she didn't wear that earlier, did she? Like, she didn't have that hat on and stuff. Shouldn't you have the studio in lockdown? What if the killer already got away? I've got patrol cars at every extra. No one's getting out of here. But thanks to, for telling me how to do my job. Oh, damn. <laughs> John, you're going to stay here until I say otherwise. Got it? Yeah, yes, detective. <laughs> uh, hi, I'm John. John Redfern. <laughs> Looks like you're stuck here with us now, John. You better not need the buff. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you're Miss Terry. Yeah, I know who I am, thanks. And you're Detective Oz. Wow. I'm, I'm a guest starring in, in the new episode or, or something. <laughs> right. Hilarious. Who are you again? Don't worry about her. She's just a star for attention. attention. So, are you the new um, crew member or... Me? Work on the show? I wish. No, I'm just a fan. Like, the biggest fan. I can't believe I'm actually t I'm talking to Becky Cole. That's am This is amazing. A fan? Well, why didn't you say so? It's always a pleasure to meet someone who appreciates my talent. I seriously can't even. Everyone on... Was it Usenet? Usenet. Oh, oh, is it Usenet? Is it Usenet? Um, it's going to go nuts when I told, told them about this. Oh my god, he's one of those freaks from the internet. <laughs> what if he's the killer? <laughs> Everyone's so just mental, man. <laughs> killer, what are you talking about? <laughs> it's obviously the nerd, right? <laughs> Even you, bro. <Brett. laughs> Come on, Becky. He's, he's only just, uh, just got here. She's right. <laughs> we shouldn't be pointing fingers. It could be it could have been any one of us. <laughs> we shouldn't be pointing fingers. Just let the detective do his job. Do his job? We've been locked in here for hours. Why didn't I see it sooner? <laughs> oh no, did it wow? <laughs> oh no, did it. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> it's like suck. <laughs> you know what? From now on, this is sack, yeah? <laughs> Honor is sack. 
Could someone uh, maybe explain what's going on? Think about it. She's the, the one who just got fired. What? What the what? You got fired? It happened right uh, right before this thing with Blake. I, I didn't know how to tell how to tell you. You don't need to be Miss Terry to realize that it's one hell of a motive of, for murder. Don't go throwing stones. Miss Glass House um, 1996. We all know you and Blake were fight, fighting over your new uh, your new contract. I what? I don't have to listen to this. Oh. Okay. Don't you walk away from me. Could someone please tell me what's happening? Everything's falling apart. <sighs> I just wish I could do something instead of being stuck in there. If I could get out. Maybe I can help. Am I hearing voices? Maybe uh, we really have been locked in here too long. Hello? You again. What are you doing here? Helping? Do you need me to find something? <sighs> A killer. Wow. <laughs> I'm good at... <laughs> I'm good at tampons. <laughs> way out of here. <laughs> a way out of here? Um, a way out of here. I have to prove I didn't kill my friend. That might be something I can help with. How do I, how do I know I can trust you? I don't even know what you are. Ask me anything you want. I'll try my best to answer. Okay. Question then. Oh. So, okay. So this the... Uh, Visual novel part of it that like, asking questions and whatnot. Let's see, hello, detective, just an actress. <laughs> Please call me Honor. It's a pleasure to meet you, Honor. I am a Scout. What would you like like to know? Let's see, what are you? Oh, wow, just one question. First things first, what are you? Good question. Unfortunately, I don't have the answer. That's why I need a detective. You don't know anything about yourself. I know I'm a robot, I'm equipped with radar, an, an imaging camera, and over 200 megabytes of storage. That's a lot of space! So you're some kind of flying camera? Unclear, most of my um, subroutines are corrupted, but many are for searching optical data and matching the known objects. However, mo uh, most of my object database has been lost. That explains the tampon thing. How did you lose so much data? I don't know. My memory banks are severely um, deteriorated when I came along um, online. Huh? Seems like you're quite the mystery scout. Okay, where did you come from? Where did you come from? I was hiding under the table. Oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> I didn't mean in here. I mean who made you? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> All that tech and no warranty card. Better hope you don't need any spare parts. Okay, let's work backwards. How how did you get here? I was following the street when I saw it. Murder Miss Terry, solving mysterious um, every Thursday. The billboard outside the stu studio. You solve mysteries uh, on other days as well? I don't know if I can wait until Thursday. You said you were following the street. Um, where were you? A bad place. Um, there were broken electronics everywhere, and no wonder I was damaged. You need a scrap heap? Who would throw something like you away? That's what I want to find out. Okay, and what do you want from me? So, what do you want from me? I told you I'm not a real detective. I understand, but perhaps you can help me find one. Okay, Scout, I've got my own problems. One of my friends is dead. Also, maybe you haven't noticed, but we we uh, we are locked inside a break room. I, I can't help anyone right now. 
then let me help you. I can find a way out of this room so you can prove your innocence. Okay. And then I'll be free to help you. It's logical, is it not? Can't argue with that. Let's see, how do I know I can trust you? I don't know I can trust you. My friend is dead, but all I know, you could have killed him. I would never hurt anyone. I don't even know how. I only want to find out who I am. I don't see any weapons on you. I guess you're safe. But I swear, if you go all how 9,000 on me, we're through. So can you find me a, uh, me a way out of here? Sure, I'll do a quick scan. I found a way out. There's a gap in the wall. It's behind you. Approximately six feet, eight inches tall. He's talking about the door, isn't he? That's the door, Scout. If I could get out of here, I wouldn't need your help. Sorry, my logic circuits are obviously still warming up. Give me a moment to make a more detailed scan. Alright, investigate, yeah? Let's see, use scout scanning mode to locate objects of interest. Move the viewpoint with the mouse and click to scan um, when the cursor turns fully red. Okay, I can. All right. I was kind of worried thinking that I can't use the um, analog sticks. Oh, oh wow, a chair. Uh. Oh, it's getting, oh, it's getting warmer. Okay. Hey, we're playing some games now. Oops. Difficulty, no assist bonus. Okay. Yeah, gotta max it out. I think I've located another way out. Could you verify that it's not another door? It's an air fan. That might actually work. Or at least it works in, mo in the movies. Only problem is it's sealed um, up with a metal cover. You don't happen to have a crowbar, do you? I don't think I have that feature. Worth a try. The cover seems to be held in place by four metal screws. It can probably be removed for access. Okay, so we need a screwdriver. I'm guessing you don't have one of those either. No, I'll be sure to bring it up with my operator if I ever find it, find him. Um, what do you think you're doing? And what is that thing supposed to be? I am Scout. Oh no, are you really that desperate for friends? I always knew you were weird, but I didn't think you, it was this bad. 
Ah, he's helping me to see how to read your statement yet. <laughs> Are you here to accuse me of, of murder again? Helping me. I didn't kill Blake and I'm going to prove it. Ha! How's a piece of junk like that going to help? Just like you dug dug an old Beta Max player out of the trash. <laughs> out of the trash. <laughs> My God. Actually, I didn't mean on a. You see, I didn't meet on a until after I left the scrap heap. That's things to smell around here. Oh, uh, that's taking the, that detective so long. Uh, do you think someone his age would value time? Wow. For once, I agree with you. Scout, uh, Scout found an air fan that leads out of, the, uh, out of the room. I'm gonna get out of here and prove my am innocent. What? No way. I am not letting you sneak out while I'm stuck in here. What are you going to do? Tie me up to a chair? If you so much as touch that air fan, I'm telling Detective Cross. You get fired, Blake dies, and then you try to escape. You don't look so innocent to me. Oh, she got a point. What if she's right? Escaping this room may not be the best option. Sometimes the best defense is a good offense, Scout. We, we have to move fast. The longer we wait, the more time the killer has to, uh, to cover up their tracks. How do you know that? I picked up a, f a thing or two over the years. Murder mysteries were always my favourite kind of story. I just never expected to be in one. But before we can get out of here, we've found a f we have to find some way to distract Becky. <coughs> I wonder. Don't need to question her, do I? Can I investigate it or something? What's this toy doing here? <laughs> hey, be careful with that. Don't you realize what you're holding? <clears throat> Some kind of action figure? A really weird puppet? <laughs> Is it a really weird puppet? <clears throat> what? No, it's Miss Terry figurine. A rare one too, if I'm not mistaken. Oh. Yeah, you're right, Barrett. <clears throat> Flipping weep. Oh, I thought it looked familiar. Guess I didn't rec recognize Becky without a scowl on her face. <laughs> How comes it's so valuable? Well, since you, you're interested, not really. You see, this particular figurine has a small but hilarious mistake. Uh, take a look at the face. Do you notice anything? Aside from strong urge to pull Becky's head off. No, no. Uh, the eyes are the wrong color. Isn't that funny? Like, how do you get the eyes 
Oh, the wrong colour on Miss Terry. Ah, just, okay. They only made 200 before they noticed the problem, so they're very rare. I wonder how it's got, got here. I've actually got another one just like, like it. Uh, here's my... Here in my back... Oh, in my... Wait, is that mine? You took it out of my bag. You're a thief. Really? First she's accused of being a murderer, now a thief. A thief? It was just lying here on the floor. On the floor? But it's worth hundreds of dollars. There are people out there that would kill to own this. Calm down. I'm j it's just a piece of plastic. Just a piece of plastic? <laughs> Come on, John, remember what Dr. F what's it, Free Ferverstein? Ferverstein taught you. I I'm sorry if I shouted. I just can't see uh, see a priceless um, collectibles being abused, especially when they belong to me. Sorry, John. I, re I really didn't know it was yours. You should probably take take it back before I get um, before I get any ideas about shoving plastic Becky's hair into the garbage disposal. No, no, Dr. Uh, ah. First is first first time. Is it is it furry style? First time. Furry I can't cannot pronounce that. Because it says I have to learn to share. Besides, you you are a detective Oates after all. If I can't trust you, who can I trust? You uh, you were kidding about the garbage disposal thing, right? Is it Fry Erstein? Fry Erstein, yeah? Thanks, bro. Let me check if there's anything else. I'll talk to her in a sec. Someone's taking a bite out of it. Did someone just eat an apple, like a bit of an apple, and just put it back inside the fridge? Detective Rank Up. A new bonus um, puzzle has been added to Scout's memory bank. Do you think this could be useful to the investigation? I'll be honest. It seems unlikely that an apple is is a smoking gun. It's the smoking gun. A, a gun? Be careful, on our Guns are dangerous. No scout, it's it's just a turn of phrase. It means the murder weapon or a vital clue. Oh. 
To be honest, I've never heard that before. It's very confusing when humans say things that mean other things. I'm sure you'll catch on. Catch on to what? Oh, for flip's sake. <laughs> that was another one, wasn't it? <laughs> Try again. See if there's anything else. Alright, so we got some half eaten apple. Maybe we'll get something else in the microwave. Tampon for a moment. Oh no. I found something. My what's it ontological database indicates that um, indicates it is some kind of tool, but all further data is damaged or missing. It's a screwdriver scout. This is just what we needed. Hey was it hey Tolly, wasn't it? I'm guessing this is yours. Huh? What makes you think that? Uh, well, because, I mean, you're a handyman, so... Oh, right, yeah. Ha, huh, sorry. And he's got a belt of tools. <laughs> so, do you mind if, if I borrow this? Mind? Why would I mind? I'll lend, uh, lend you a tool any time you like. Maybe after we get out of here, uh, you and me could go grab a coffee. Scout, uh, if you've got a, a cattle prod attachment, now's the time. <laughs> well, you know where I'll be if you change your mind. <laughs> All right, so no more investigation, yeah? All right. Question Becky. Let me see. Uh, click show evidence to, sh to show evidence collected by scout to suspect and prompt new um, revelations. Ah, what do you want? How are you holding up? You should let me go. Me your biggest fan. <laughs> you should let me go. If you really want to get out of here, you should let me go. The sooner I can prove I'm innocent, the sooner Detective Cross can concentrate on finding the real critter. No way. If I have to be stuck in here, then so do you. You're just mad because you're going to miss your stupid party. Duh. The social event of the season, and I'm supposed to be in there. It'll be there in three hours. If I don't get out of here soon, soon, um, soon, everyone will be drunk by the time I get there. They won't even notice me arriving. Mean your biggest fan? So how does it feel to, to finally meet your biggest fan? Who, John? He's so pathetic. He keeps trying to talk to me about poetry or some crap. As if I want to hear poetry at a time like this. You think the, your biggest fan would know you aren't interested in art? I am into art, but fashion is the art of the 90s, honor. And John? He's anything but fashionable. Okay. How are you holding up? Not like that. Not like I care. Let's see, how are you holding up? Sorry. I'll be okay. No thanks to that idiot detective. I can't believe he's left us locked in here without any protection. What if the killer tries to finish off, um, finish off the rest of us? You don't think they'll be trying to, um, to, to lay, lay low? How should I know? I'm not a murderer. Maybe not. On the other hand, what? The contract thing? Don't be stupid, Honor. That's just business. I'm not a suspect. I am a a victim of circumstance. Okay. You see, fighting with Blake about your contract. Yeah. You to forget about that. What's Ragnarok? What? 
Who would, who would put a screwdriver in a microwave? Oh yeah, that's true, you know, the microwave was in the, um, the screwdriver was in the microwave. And, and what's that about Wagner player? <laughs> Is he fighting with playing about your contract? She looks like a, like Wagner. Oh, what the hairstyle? No, she look, with that hairstyle, she looks like those old Joe's, uh, old Joe Summers, right? Let's see, were you play, um, really fighting with Blake about your contract? Is it, is it honest mid bro? Honest mid bro? Is it, were you really fighting with Blake about your contract? I do not want to talk about, about it. But can you believe these people? I'm their biggest star, and they can't eat, um, they can't even find a new thousand dollars for promotion. Wow! I swear, it's like they. Were. What are you smiling about? Nothing. It's just I thought you didn't want to talk about it. Yeah, just start ranting, right? Is he worrying about your party? Uh. You're more worried about getting to a party on time than about Blake. Don't you care at all? Of course I care. It's tragic. But this isn't just any party. It's Mitzi McCree party. It's a Mitzi McCree party. You know um, how hard it is to get on a guest list? I've been trying for months. Not that you would understand. You always get invited to these parties with your husband. Oops, sorry, ex-husband, wow. Maybe now you, you're the fools, you'll finally see what it's like for people like me. You know, people who got hair uh, through the rock, uh, through, the, through the hard work, not by marrying some rich guy. I auditioned like everybody else. Oh, sure. And you got um, your audition in the first place? And who got you uh, the audition in the first place? I still don't understand why you divorce him. If I had a guy who got me into Mitzi McCree's party, I'd never um, give him up. Hmm. The trash talk. I know, right? Sounds like you don't um, think much of Detective Cross. He's so old. I thought real detectives were supposed to be cool and mysterious. Well, if they get experience, they would probably be old, right? The only thing mysterious about him is why he hasn't been retired yet. <laughs> For fuck's sake. <laughs> well, there's not... Hold on, sir. That's just a map. Oh, yeah. So I press triangle for... For... <laughs> for <sure. laughs> there's nothing. Yeah, there's nothing to present to her. Like... I'm gonna try the I'm gonna try the car key yeah and see what happens but there's nothing to really present to her right now like what the toy please what are you giving me that for oh my god are you tracking tracking my cycle what kind of weird stalker are you on oh my god Well, you will say the same dialogue twice, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> Miss Terry Toy. <laughs> oh great, even more crappy merchandise. If that is that the output from the marching brand um, band episode? Nope, it's from the one from with the alien bug cult. Ah, oh, I hated that episode. You know it took Casey three hours to get all the green gunk out of my hair. Excuse me, Miss Carl. Cool. I couldn't help overhearing, and I have to uh, politely disagree. It wasn't just junk, uh, gunk. It was insert mucus. It and it wasn't green. It was grey. I've seen it on the VHS about a hundred times. I don't care what colour it was. That crap was in my hair. But those details are very important. Without a consistent, without a consistent world, the show would fall apart at the seams. Oh please, it's all made up anyway. As long as I'm I'm there, people will keep watching.
but the real first value is internal logic is it internal yeah internal logic um you've got to con contrast a rich and consistent uh, canon to build long-term viewership what the hell have can um, cannons got to do with anything ah uh, i can't believe you're so ignorant this is exactly what caused the show to go downhill the last season you ought to be ashamed at what you've done downhill are you crazy i've never looked better this isn't about you damn now i know you're crazy <laughs> wow i wasn't expecting that you see uh if i break into a discord <laughs> Yeah, alien bug coat must be the um. What's it? Must have had tentacles. For it, no. I wasn't even thinking that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Probably does have that too. Oh. Well, that'll work for a distraction. <laughs> yeah, get out of here now. I didn't know human faces could uh, display such shade of red. <laughs> that shade of red. John really cares about the show, huh? I almost feel bad for Becky. Almost. Yeah. I don't care. I think we have everything we need now, Honor. Um, are you ready to open the air vent? Ready as I ever be. You? I'm looking forward to exploring this uh, ventilation system with you. You know, I can't tell if you're joking or not. I don't know if I'm capable of joking or not, but I would like to learn the how. <laughs> Wait, before we climb in, any idea where this vent goes? I don't want to end up in the furnace. <laughs> I could try mapping the internal and tempo. Was it tempo? Tempography? Uh, with active radar. Okay. I don't have a clue what that means, but if you think it will help. Oh. That map, ventilation map. Yep. Cool. Hmm. Mapping complete. Uh, the vent leads to another room of a similar size to this. Probably Blake's office. I didn't think it, I'd be heading back to there so soon. Uh, should I look for another way out? No, if I'm going to find uh, find a way to prove I didn't kill him, this office is the best place to start. I just hope we don't run into Detective Cross when we get there. This vent looks pretty tight. You sure, sure we're not going to get stuck in there? Don't worry, Honor. My senses have already messaged your body yet. Wow, wait. Wha <laughs> you did what? I took approximate measurements of your body compared to the uh, diameter of your diameter, diameter, diameter of the ventilation shaft. It's unlikely you'll become stuck. Did I do something bad? No, it's just something rude. Scout, you can't do that kind of thing without asking. Sorry, Honor, I didn't realize. How about you just delete those measurements and we'll. Pretend this never happened. What measurements? <laughs> hey, you can make jokes. <laughs> Come on, let's get that fen. Um, let's get in that fen before we start having second thoughts. Uh, 
uh, liking it so far. It's good. Oh, I should make sure I save, actually. It's not like this game's got auto-saves. Let's see. Uh, no sign of Detective Cross. What's the plan now? Good question. You'll find whoever did this to you, Blake. Um, I'll make sure. Scout, can you see anything? I can currently see... 432 objects. Can you be more specific? Or should I um, scan them all individually? Yeah, no. No, I mean, can you see anything that might shed some light on what happened? And before you say anything, I don't mean a death lap. <laughs> Understood. I'll scan the room. Yeah. Oh, yes, yes. Game did have auto save. Yeah. Said it from the beginning. Yeah, I'm used to like these um, visual novels not having it. Ooh, murder Miss Teddy. Well, probably the body up to start first. Oh. Medical report. All right. See, this is the medical is examine examiner's uh, report. <clears throat> Detective Cross must have called someone to check uh, to check the body. Use these in murder, Miss um, Terry, when we need to know the base basics about the uh, murder you know case of death or is it cause of death um time of death people were murdered on your tv show no dude well yeah it's literally in the title i didn't realize i thought you said you were innocent no one actually dies on the show scout they're just acting <laughs> acting ah see the show wasn't real you're just pretending to be a natural. <laughs> no, I, I don't have the time to explain this right now. Give me a minute to read this report. 
caused the death, blunt force trauma to the head. Just like the detective said. Time of death, approximately 4.30pm. Where was I 4.30pm? You see, according to my internal um, chronometer, chronometer, you see, that's when we met in the parking lot. Hmm, of course, Scout, I think I just found my alibi. Miss me, um, Miss Rahi. Damn, I'm still gonna get it wrong. You see, he's streaming. He's pretending to be to be a nice streamer. What? What do you mean by that, bro? Right? Shouldn't be in here, Miss me, Ah, Miss Rahi, Miss Miss Rahi. Miss, we're going to get yourself ar arrested. I couldn't stay in the in the break that break room. Yeah. I know I shouldn't be here, Bill, but I couldn't stay in that break room. How did you even get out? I thought Detective Cross locked the door. I crawled out through the ventilation system with a little help from Scout here. I am Scout. Oh hi. What's that? A flying fax machine? It's a robot some kind of some kind. We haven't had much of a chance to get to know each other yet. Scout, this is Bill. He's the st um, studio's one-man security team. Hello, Bill. Boy, technology these days. It's amazing, isn't it? My son can fax me he's drawing from home and they come out right in my office here. Well, up until last week anyway. Now they got him doing uh, macaroni art at school. Cheese gums up machi machine something awful. <laughs> Bill, I've got to prove uh, to Detective Cross um, I didn't kill um, Blake. Can you help? You know I'd do anything to help you out, Miss Me, Miss Rahi. I just I don't want to get in trouble. Hmm. What have you been doing? What have you been doing since Detective Cross arrived? He put me in charge of guarding the crime team. He's got a lot to do, so I'm, so I'm supposed to make sure no one gets in here or touches anything. You didn't, you didn't touch anything, did you? Who me? Of course not. You've got nothing to worry about. What about the medical examiner's report? You were hot reading it just a minute ago. Did you forget? I uh. The report? Oh jeez, that's super important. I'm gonna be in so much trouble if Detective Cross hears about this. Thanks, Scout. You're welcome or not, fuck's sake. <laughs> you and Detective Cross, I want to prove my innocence. Mm -hmm. What do you think Detective Cross, uh, what do you think of Detective Cross? Honestly, he's kind of scary. I told him I liked um, his badge and he towered over me like some kind of um, enormous angry telephone pole. I swear, he looks twice as big up, up close. He just stood there, frowning at me, felt like hours. Then he um, pointed Then he pointed at my tie and said it was unprofessional. Unprofessional. That's alright. I like this tie. <laughs> Innocence. Basically, all I want to do, like, all I want to do is pr prove to Detective Cross that I didn't kill Blue. You're a smart cookie, Miss. I feel so bad, <laughs> Miss Me, Miss Rahi. Yes. But should we let the detective do his job and stay in the break room all night? No thanks. Maybe he knows what he's doing, but um, it's taking too long. At this rate, the real killer's going to get away before he's even interviewed us. I know I'm just an actress in a detective show. Hell, I wasn't even the main character, but I can help. Maybe, maybe, but you're going to need some serious evidence to convince the detective course you're not a suspect. The medical examiner's report says Blake died around 4.30pm. Uh, I've left Blake's office way before that. Great, but can you prove it? I've seen it in your show. You need evidence. Scout, did you record anything on those cameras of yours? Yes or no? I automatically keep um, cynical, cynical uh, buffer 
of the past um, few hours um, of visual input. However, I have no way of displaying images. Um, displaying those images. It's got a big screen for a face. Can't you display it on that? All that technology, and they didn't even give you a printer. I'll add it to the list. You know, that reminds me of, of the fancy CCTV system you were supposed to get. Uh, oh yeah, use those. They, um, then they trimmed the budget off. He ended up, up, up only getting installed out in the parking lot. Yeah, but that proves that she was in the parking lot, right? Typical management, I'm telling you. But, but, wait, are you saying there's CCTV outside? Yeah, sure. No one showed uh, me uh, how to use it, but it's there. Yeah, you can go use this CCTV. Bill, the CCTV will prove my alibi. I was in the parking lot when the murder happened. Can you pull the footage to show Detective Frost? Well, in theory, but need to, a fingerprint to open the security office door. And I'm supposed to stay here and guard the crime scene. Let's see. Guard it from who? Everyone else is locked in the break room. What if the murderer comes back? The scout will uh, uh, blast him with his death ray. <laughs> really? He could do that? <laughs> yeah, cut his hands, yeah. <laughs> we could just cut off his hands, right? Or, I don't know, maybe dust his fingers, like put some ink on his fingertips or something. Yes, that is, is a thing that he can do, absolutely. How could you go and get the, uh, let's see, now you can go and get that tape, please? Oh jeez, okay, if you're sure, I'll be as quick as I can. Oh no, I don't have a death ray. I know, Scout. Just play along, okay? My, f let me see, my first real crime scene, it's nothing like I imagined. I thought you pret um, pretended to solve crimes on TV show. I did, and I've read so many mis uh, mystery novels, seen so many movies. It sounds stupid now, but I guess I convinced myself I know how to handle a real murder. But now I'm standing here looking at the body of my friend and... Nah, can't be Bill. Bill, did you get the tape already? Mm. Jesus! Detective Cross will do just fine, thanks. <laughs> you want to you want to give me an explanation or shall I skip straight to the handcuffs? Oh crap, I might need to come off soon. Yeah. Yeah, soon enough I might have to stop in the stream because I actually have to take a nap. Got night shift um, later on. Can't wait to see how you're, you're gonna try and talk your way out of this. I can explain everything. Okay, I can explain everything. How'd you even get in there? Through the air vent. The air vent? Who do you think you are? John McLean? Maybe if you hadn't locked us in the break room, I could have used the door like a normal person. Oh, really? My apologies. I didn't realize I shouldn't. I should have made it easier for you to tamper with the crime scene. I realize this looks bad, but I got sick of waiting around. You haven't even taken our statements yet. This is real, is real life, not some two-bit TV show. Good police work takes time. I'm just trying to find some way to prove I didn't kill Blake. He was my friend. And you thought breaking into the crime scene was going to help your case? Actually, it did. There's solid proof I didn't do it. Bill's just gone to get the security tapes. I was beginning to wonder where he's gone. Maybe you convinced him to leave you so you could screw around with the real evidence. You'll see once he gets back, you just have to trust me. Trust doesn't get you very far in my line of work. Let's see. John McLean equals diehard hard John McLean. Was it Die Hard? John McLean? Are you sure it's John McLean? Right, are you sure it's John McLean? I, I swear it's... Mm, 
Damn, I forgot the actor's name. Let's see, have you got any leads? Have you got any leads yet? Yeah, I'm looking at one right now. Please, detective, I was just trying to help. Being a detective on TV doesn't mean you're qualified to walk in and take over a real murder investigation. Real police work isn't a game. It's dangerous, and you don't know the first thing about it. That's where you're wrong. My dad was on the force. And I suppose he told you all about it. He didn't have to. He'd come home exhausted every night, and I saw what, what it did to him. I might not have the training, but I understand the job. I know what it takes. Don't make me laugh. I've seen your show. You wouldn't last five minutes on the force. What would you do if the killer showed up right now? I would blast him. <laughs> I'll blast him with my death ray. <laughs> Uh, he's just kidding, detective. What's taking so long? What's taking you so, um, so long anyway? You've been stuck in that room for hours. I'm just doing my job. There are a lot of things to cover. Security, photograph, photography, evidence collection. Hmm, hold on. the map I suppose I swear is this ah damn I was thinking that there might be a way to check the um the text let's see like um the log so I'm a little on oh I kind of missed this uh, the sentence earlier so I'm a little understaffed, uh, nothing I can't handle. Oh great, I re it's reassuring to know that Blake's death is so high on the LAPD's um, list of priorities. Central, scre um, Central screwing me around again, but it won't work. I might be old, but I'm not getting pushed into a desk job yet. Oh, okay, just a sec, Brett. Oh, damn. Bruce Willis. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> yeah. He, yeah, so the, the character is called John McLean. All right, cool. Nice one. Yeah, I was trying to think of the actor's name. You see, it takes a lo long as it takes, and that's the end of it. Just double check that. Just take this on, blah, blah, blah. I'm just doing my job. I've read through enough mysteries to know it shouldn't take this long. Something's wrong. Yeah, I'm stopped. Right, Detective Cross, uh, this is a scout. Looks like something out of the Buck Rock. <laughs> Looks like something out of Buck Rogers. There's so much references here. <laughs> Are you a real detective? Can you help me find my creator? You better get this flying toaster out of my face before things get ugly. Scout, maybe you should leave the nice detective alone. Oh, and it's got the little um, load um, icon at the bottom. I think that's the auto safe. Yeah. Alright. Alright, me... Miss Ras Rahi, right? All right, Miss Rahi. Yeah, I think it's time we move this conversation down to the precinct, don't you? I got it, Honor. I found the security tape. Hmm. Nice of you to join us, Detective Cross. Oh, geez. Uh, I mean, what a pleasant surprise. Maybe I'm getting um, um forgetful in my old age, but didn't I tell you to guard this room? I am guarding the room. I mean, I was. I just had to go and, uh... Care to explain how Miss uh, Marple over here managed to get in? 
You said to make sure nobody get through the d that door. You uh, didn't say anything about the effort. <laughs> so you wandered off and left the murder suspect at the scene of the crime. Alone, with all the evidence. Well, when you say it like that... I only went to check the CCTV system. Wouldn't have been um, back sooner, but I had to take the down thing apart to get the tape. Get out the tape. Couldn't you just press the eject button? There's an eject button. For oh, sake. What did he do? Did he break the whole thing? So what do you say, detective? Care to, to see the, my evidence? You got five minutes. After that, I'm taking you downtown. That's all I need. Scout, can you scan this? So, for now we've got a lot of 10x10s. Ten 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, yeah? Cool. Yep, I did a mistake. Let's see if I can correct it. Alright, it's fine. Yeah, I just did a little mistake. CCTV tape. Detective ranked up. A new bonus puzzle has been added to Scout's memory bank. Okay, what are we looking at? This is the security footage of the parking lot earlier this afternoon. Um, look, um, there's Bill. Who's that in the background? Looks like they've got uh, spray cans. You got a problem with um, vandals around here, Bill? Them? No, they're just co um, contractors. You got a lot. <sighs> they're not contractors. They're kids. They've got skateboards for God's sakes. Didn't you say you were looking for kids going um, doing graffiti earlier, Bill? So, Bill thought the kids that was doing the graffiti were contractors. This guy. <laughs> as enlightening as this is for some of us, I don't see how it proves anything's useful. I'm getting to that, Detective. Bill, can you fast forward to about 4.30 p.m.? There, that's it. See? That's me, standing by the, my car. I spoke to Bill, then Scout. Okay, you were in the parking lot, so what? I lost my kid. That doesn't matter. Blake was already dead. Those kids must have died. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Blake was already dead. Blake was already dead. He died around 4.30pm and the CCTV TV, um, footage clearly shows I was in the parking lot. Whoa. I'll be damned. Not bad for a TV detective, huh? I guess not. Now, if I can... Wait a second, how do you know the time of death? <laughs> Bill, did you let her read the medical report? Oh jeez. <laughs> oh, poor Bill. Listen up everyone, I'll need to keep you here for a little longer. Please, Detective, I spent the last 20 minutes trying to get John and Becky to stop arguing. I'd have more luck shooting out the Middle East. <laughs> if you need something to keep you occupied, start working on those statements. 
What, what about me? Can I help out some other way? Scout could. This is Nancy Drew. We got lucky with that season TV, but that was all, all it was. Luck. Now go home and let the professionals handle this. Hey, how come she gets to go home? She, uh, she could be the murderer. I've seen evidence that proves otherwise. Only thing she's guilty is of is being a pain in my ass. You can't keep me locked up in there. What if I'm next? Don't worry, babe. If anyone tries anything, I'll whack him with one of my dumbbells. You brought dumbbells with you on a job? You never know when you're gonna find a spare five minutes to work up a sweat. Know what I mean? <laughs> uh, a reclusive nun uh, would get get what you mean. And even a re was it reclusive? Yeah, a reclusive nun would get what you mean. And even she think think five minutes is prepared. <laughs> Didn't catch that one. What's that, bro? You see, I spent the last twenty minutes trying to get to stop arguing. When someone sleep your wife through the shit on this course. <laughs> Are you sure that's only 20 minutes? Give me like two hours. Wait, did I just find um, Becky funny? Detective, I'm begging you. You've got to let us out of here. I'm going to stir crazy. <laughs> Fine, you can leave the goddamn room. Just stay inside the studio grounds, okay? I mean it, any of you try anything and you you will have tackled was it tackled by a patrol man faster than you can say WrestleMania. Yeah, this is all stuck all in the 90s, yeah, so I wonder if any of these kids here can, can get these references. <laughs> See, uh, quick question, how cute is the um retrical uh, patrol retro um Practical. Uh, patrolman, how good is his credit? Does he get on well with, the, with his mother? Wow. KC man. As for you, go home. You sound like um you Brett when you say to Sat to go go sleep. Just for the record, you guys are all crazy. I'm putting that in my report. Praise the goddess, we're free. Ish. Guess I should go home now, like he said. Don't feel bad, babe. You earned it. You said you were, uh, you were gonna prove yourself innocent and you went out and did it. I did, didn't I? So what are you waiting for? You're free to go. Uh-oh. You got that look on your face. Don't think you can hide it from me, Missy. I know that look. That's the honor Mira <laughs> Miss Rahi. I'm not giving in special. It's just, I got myself out of trouble, but what about you guys? What about Blake? You gave me a big break. I, I wouldn't even be here without him. He wasn't just my boss, he was my friend. What happened to you? fired you. <laughs> but that's just it. It doesn't make any sense. All I could think of, of the time was how angry I was, but looking back, he was so nervous. Hmm. You've been playing a detective too long, babe. You're starting to sound like one. It's not just me. There's something else going on. I can't just leave. I'm not implying you're an old man, right? It's just the way you say it, it's like, go to bed, you know? Just sound loud. <laughs> but it's not like you're wrong. The guy's the guy needs to go sleep more often. But if he told that to his mother, yeah, she'll say otherwise. If you want to keep investigating um on our, I'm here to help. Scout? Don't you want to go and find a real detective? You may not be a real detective, but maybe that's okay. Maybe what I really need is a partner. 
I'm good at finding things, but I'm no good at with people. But you convinced Bill to help you. You've proved your innocence to Detective Cross. So maybe I don't need a real detective after all. Because together we can solve anything. If you want to try, that is. Why not? I think I'm getting to like having you around anyway. How about you, Casey? Will you help me look into it? Absolutely. You know I've got your back. But, uh, can I poop? <laughs> can I pop into the loo first? I need to go for hours and I'm generally, um, scared, scared something's about to burst. <laughs> Let's see, location of the office. Alright, anyway. Um, I have to stop it here because I need to get some rest. I'm going to go eat, get, some, get a nap, go to work. I'll continue next time. Ah, oh, I may save the first. Whoops. Yeah, auto save. Cool. Yep, yeah, auto save. Cool. Close this. Return to title, yeah? Cool. Anyway, guys, anyone that's joined, thanks for joining. Hope you enjoyed the stream. Anyone that's watching this on YouTube, Check the link in the description. Hopefully you can watch this stuff live. Anyway, thanks everyone. Thanks for it. See you guys next time. Yeah, go to bed, yeah. I'm not going to bed. Well, I'm taking a nap, yeah, sure. <laughs> anyway, see you, Brett. Thanks, yeah.